sure you get some good fruits and vegetables in your diet because it's going to help with your overall health inside out. Healthy hair starts from the inside out. Um, I can tell you what products to use and what techniques to use, but if you're not giving your body the good nutrients and water and hydration, like it's going to all be in vain. So number one, get your water game up. Making sure you're drinking enough water. There is this app. Um, I used to use it years ago. Um, I was drinking a gallon a day. I'm not drinking a gallon a day anymore. I'm trying to get back to that, but I think I'm about to download it again. It's called um, the Water App. It might be something else, but if you have an iPhone and an Android, go to the Play Store or the App Store and just type in Water App. And basically what this app will do is remind you to drink water throughout the day, which a lot of times, like, when I'm working, I will forget to drink water too. Like, I'll just be working and just forget but I'm doing a little bit better about drinking it. So what the app does is you tell it what time you get up and what time you go to bed and what's your water goes. So let's say you want to start small by just drinking maybe a half a gallon a day, 64 ounces. So it'll start telling you to drink water like right when you get up at 8 o'clock. And it'll, it'll like calculate throughout the day and it'll stop like maybe an hour before you go to bed. So it'll give you time to go to the bathroom soon when you're going overnight. So I recommend downloading the app. Okay, number two is... Um, uh, number two is why you might have dry hair is you're probably not using the right shampoos and conditioners um, and not doing enough uh, deep condition and or stain treatments. Um, a lot of natural sometimes will be stuck on this whole co-wash thing and I get it. Co-wash, you should look at co-wash as like a quick fix. Co-wash should not be something that you do all the time like you never shampoo. And what happens is, like, when you're co-washing, it don't really cleanse your hair. It don't really get all the product off your hair. So sometimes there's nothing wrong with using, like, a deep cleansing or a clarifying shampoo. Now, if I have clients who come who have a whole lot of buildup on their hair or dandruff or debris, I will sometimes go in with a deep cleanser or clarifying shampoo. But I also follow up with a very moisturizing one. Um, to kind of replace back that moisture. And I know a lot of naturals get scared of the deep, deep cleansing shampoos, like, oh, it'll rip your head from natural oils. And yes, it does, but that's why it's always good to follow up with a moisturizing shampoo and also do a deep condition. Your hair will be okay, trust me. I promise you, it's gonna be okay, girl. Like, don't trail because, oh my gosh, I'm using a deep cleansing strap on the oils. You're gonna be okay, girl. You're gonna get your life together. You can use that moisturizing shampoo and you can do your stain treatment afterwards. So that's going to be okay. Another thing I want to touch bases on is because I do have eczema and I tend to have really dry skin is um, I also use, uh, if you have dry scalp and dry, dry scalp and dry hair, um, a lot of dandruff and even eczema, psoriasis, um, get you a good shampoo that has tea tree oil in it. So a lot of times I'll start off with uh, Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoo or also I, I use the influence uh, hair care line in my shop I'll do their rosemary uh, shampoo that's really really good for getting all that dandruff and you know debris off your scalp very cool tingling sensation start off with that first you'll notice a hell of a difference and then second follow up with like a moisturizing shampoo and my favorite go-to is I love the honey almond line by influence too i follow up with my honey almond shampoo you probably seen me talk about this in a previous video and then after that i would do a um steam treatment and um guys if you don't have a steamer don't trip it's okay um you can also do a deep condition but steaming like if you're really suffering from severe dry hair i feel like you should really invest in a steamer or go to a salon that has um that does steam treatments because it would really benefit your hair like that thing you got that moist heat coming out you don't need to put on past the cap but it, you will see some a lot of uh, good benefits things is good for like if you have dandruff and stuff it's good with um detangling like it makes your hair a whole lot softer it's more hydrated um you it's just it's just a bomb it has so many good benefits for your scalp and for your hair um and it really helps retain that moisture in your hair so, um, or you can always do a deep conditioning treatment. Um, I do deep conditioning treatments sometimes, uh, 15 to sometimes 25 minutes. This is how bad and severe the, um, 
that hair is, how dry it is. And the reason why you want to do like steam and deep conditioning treatments if you have dry hair, the reason why you want to do it regular because that heat, it opens up the hair cuticle. A lot of times, a lot of us have like low porosity, meaning that our hair that don't have ability to retain moisture. So when you do these deep conditioners and steam treatments, it's open up your hair cuticle and it's getting all that good moisture, all that in there, girl. It's getting in that girl. It's getting in there. So that heat is opening it up. It's getting them nutrients, that all that moisture, that, that condition there. And then after you're done, um, this will also help with frizz. After you uh, done, did your steam or your deep conditioner, you want to rinse your hair uh, with cool water. And the reason why I said that, because it helps seal the hair cuticle back down. So it can stay, the moisture can stay in. And also, it, this helps with frizz as well. A lot of people have a lot of problems with frizz. I mean, frizz is going to happen because it's natural hair, but you can kind of minimize it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I ain't gonna take a bit on flea, but it be like, yeah, okay, no, don't buy me, y'all. But, um, uh, but yeah, another thing why y'all might have dry hair. Um, I ask people, how do you moisturize your hair? They say, oh, I just use some coconut oil. I put some coconut oil on it, or, um, I put some shea butter on it. And y'all, I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't picking on y'all, but they ain't moisturizing your hair, boo boo. I'm sorry, I don't know who told y'all that, but they don't. Think about it. Moisturizing. What's the word in there? Moisture. Moisture comes from water. So when it comes to moisturizing your hair, you need to be using water or a water-based leave-in conditioner. And what I mean by water-based leave-in conditioner, the first ingredient, I'm trying to see if I got like an empty bottle right here, but I don't. Anyway, you turn around to the back of the leave-in conditioner. If the first or second ingredient is not water, it's not moisturizing. Um, and it's even good just to get your regular spray bottle with some water in it and it's uh, spritzing on your hair. That's the first thing you want to do when you're moisturizing your hair. Because when you're just putting oil on your scalp, you ain't doing nothing but sealing the dryness in. What, what you sealing in, bruh? I mean, what you sealing in? you just putting oil on your scalp. There's no hydration there, no, no moisture. So what you want to do is get your water bottle and spray the water on there. And then you seal it with your oils and your broad butters. Get you a good leave-in conditioner, um, water-based leave-in conditioner. People, I know y'all want to ask, what kind of leave-in conditioner can you please? I use Mazzani Miracle Milk leave-in conditioner, hands down, just like my favorite. Excuse me. That's like my favorite leave-in conditioner. Um, I love it. I love it. So I use that. Even when I have, like I have these locks in right now, I'll take it. Spritz the leave-in conditioner like on my scalp. Um, where I got the protective style in, and then I seal it with some some oil. Um, or if you're wringing out your hair out, you're wearing a puff, or you're wearing a twist out, you know that your hair's starting to get dry. Uh, spritz it with some water or some leave-in conditioner, and follow up with your oil or your butter to kind of seal it in. That's what your oils and butter sell for is to seal the moisture in. Um, another thing I was gonna say was um, about your leave-in, about sealing the moisture in. Um, also, like if you're wearing your puffs or your twist outs, um, another good tip that I do when I have my twist out is, or my puff, I'm noticing like on day like four or five, it seems like it's getting dry. When you take a shower, don't wear a shower cap. Kind of like that steam getting your hair and you, you know, get it moist. And then when you get out, you take your oil and you follow up with it um, or whatever. So just make sure you're doing it um, when it comes to dry hair. What is another thing I wanted to say? dry hair so yeah make sure you want to follow up after you uh deep condition make sure you're using that leave-in and that oil and really when it comes down to it y'all y'all should not have to moisturize your hair every day like if, okay say sunday is your wash day and you doing you done did your shampoo you need a deep condition or stain you need your leave-in need your oil on Monday, you should not be moisturizing again. That that if you're drinking enough water and you did what you're supposed to do on Sunday, it should at least I give you at the earliest maybe Wednesday that you might have to go back in again. But even then, my hair and I know what I'm supposed to do and my water game is on fleek, like on fleek. I might have to re-moisturize by maybe Thursday night, Friday, maybe. Um, so maybe once or twice a week. So y'all keep that in mind. Um, also when you're moisturizing, make sure you're concentrating on your ends. A lot of people get split ends often. They say ends are dry. So when you're moisturizing, take that uh, leave-in or that water, get them ends, because the ends are the oldest part of your hair. It's been on your head the longest, bro. 
So you spray that on there and you seal it with some oil. And if you tend to have dry scalp, you go in there and you spray your little water or whatever. Get your little tea tree. Tea tree oil is good for dry scalp too. Get your little tea tree oil and mix with some other oils because tea tree oil is a little potent. It's a little strong. So you want to mix that all up in there. Oh, my earring fell out, but we can keep on going. The name Jesus ain't we y'all? Hey, we show sure it, honey. But um, you get that in there for uh, your dry scalp. So I think that kind of wraps it up when it comes to dry hair. Um, and just to recap, drinking some water, getting some fruits and vegetables in your everyday. Make sure you're uh, using some good uh, moisturizing shampoos and conditioners. Kind of stay away from the co-washing, um, y'all, if you can help it. Because, I mean, it's really not really... To me, look at it as a temporary fix. Because, bro, you're going to have to go in and get you a good shampoo, okay? Y'all wonder why your hair can't grow. You better start using some uh, clarifying... <laughs> nah, let me start joking with y'all. But, nah, you need a good shampoo, though, on a regular... Um, every two to three weeks it just depends um follow up with like a leave-in or or stain treatment and i'm telling you when you start getting your hydration levels up you'll start noticing that you, your moisture in your hair are changing you don't have to re-moisturize as much you know what i'm saying so i hope that helps somebody i hope that set somebody free i hope y'all learned something um anyway if you have more questions comments or concerns feel free to um, drop them below in the inbox. If you're looking to set up an appointment, I'm going to put the link down in the info box. Um, yeah, if y'all have any other questions, y'all just let me know. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, girl. If y'all have any other topics that y'all want me to touch bases on, just feel free to drop them below and let me know. And now, um, we're going to try to touch it. We're going to try to get this natural hair together. Okay, honey. Okay. Okay. It's a snow day. Here in Raleigh, North Carolina, we got a little, little baby snow happening outside. But they can go ahead and keep this because I'm a summer baby. And I'm ready for the warm weather. I'm ready to pull out the sundresses. They all lined up. They're ready to go. Anyway, thank y'all for watching my video and I appreciate it. Talk to y'all later.